evening and welcome to the station newsletter on 6. Today is Thursday, September 6, 2012. I'm Jim Fuller. And I'm Chip Ramsey with a Saturday Independent newspaper. In tonight's news, a preliminary report shows Tennessee homeowners are benefiting from a settlement reached with the nation's top five mortgage servicers. More than half the members of Governor Bill Haslam's hand-picked special Supreme Court have recused themselves from hearing a case to determine constitutionality of how Tennessee selects appellate and high court judges. And more than 200 young Tullahoma artists and 45 supervising mentors will gather at the South Jackson Civic Center this Saturday. Saturday. We'll have all these stories and more on tonight's News Leader on 6. Stay tuned. Telehoma Surgery Center is Telehoma's newest and most complete surgical health care facility. The center combines state-of-the-art surgical care with efficient, affordable, and community-based outpatient service. The staff is committed to providing the highest quality care in a warm, personalized setting. The goal is to deliver excellent care and make your visit a pleasant experience. Telehoma Surgery Center, the area's premier surgery center dedicated to outpatient surgery. Telehoma Drug has a gift for keeping well. You know about prescriptions, but there's so much more to tell. There's a gift for all occasions, for body, soul, and mind. Cards to show you care, gifts to show your kind. There are remedies and recipes and treats, you'll want to eat them. Stacks of books from famous cooks and spectacles to read them. Shades and frames, puzzles, games, dishes, plates and mugs. We're a Tullahoma treasure. We are Tullahoma Drug. This is J.D. Oliver here at the Smokehouse on Mont Eagle Mountain. My sisters Betsy, Nancy, and I would like to thank you for supporting our family business for over 50 years. Hello, this is Stella Parton, and I am standing here right in the middle of Jim Oliver's Smokehouse Restaurant. But you need to come in here. We just got through doing a show. We also have a music scene going on here, and I want to invite you to come down because it is your mountain destination. Music on the mountain in Mont Eagle, Tennessee. My name is Betsy Oliver. I'm the kitchen manager here. We serve a lot of ribs and barbecue and fried chicken. Hey, this is Sean Mayer, and I just want to let everybody know to stop in at the Smokehouse if you're ever on your way to Chattanooga or Nashville. They not only have a great gift shop, awesome food, great entertainment on Saturday nights, but beautiful cabins to stay in. Check it out. Make the Smokehouse your mountain getaway destination. Stay in one of our 84 lodge rooms and 20 timber frame log cabins. Look around our trading posts and eat in our delicious restaurant. Enjoy music on the mountain every Saturday night featuring the best of Nashville. Our family hopes to see you this year at Jim Oliver Smokehouse. This facility was built literally on the international dateline to bring charter customers tomorrow's technology first. Like Charter Internet, which was just made faster again. With speeds up to 100 megs, you can download a movie in two minutes. The number one internet service provider in the nation. Click. Ogleman. Good luck with the presentation tomorrow. Already nailed it. Get Charter Internet Express for only $19.99 a month. Welcome back. A preliminary report shows Tennessee homeowners are benefiting from a settlement reached with the nation's top five mortgage servicers. Tennessee and 48 other attorney general and federal agencies reached the agreement with the servicers in April following a series of state and federal investigations into improper foreclosures and industry practices. The settlement is designed to provide assistance to struggling homeowners. The report released this week by a settlement monitor shows Tennessee homeowners received $36 million in relief during the first quarter of the settlement, which was March through June. The settlement is estimated to provide $25 billion in relief nationwide, including roughly $140 million in Tennessee. Two car makers with plants in Tennessee posted double-digit sales gains in August compared to the same time frame last year. Volkswagen led the pack with a sales increase of 62.5% over 2011. The German automaker makes the Passat sedan at its $1 billion plant in Chattanooga. Manchester's MTech factory provides interior trim parts for the model. General Motors says its August sales were up by 10% over last year. The company is tooling up to make a crossover SUV at its Spring Hill plant in Maury County. Nissan reports a sales increase of 7.6% for August. The company has a final assembly plant in Smyrna and an engine factory in Deckard. 
More than half the members of Governor Bill Haslam's hand-picked special Supreme Court have recused themselves from hearing a case to determine the constitutionality of how Tennessee selects appellate and high court judges. Special Supreme Court Judges William Barker, George Brown, and Robert Eccles announced Friday that they had disqualified themselves from the case because of of a perceived conflict of interest. The three have ties to a group that lobbies against judicial elections, which is the issue at the heart of the case. The special Supreme Court order reads, although the undersigned special judges have not formed an opinion about the constitutionality of the contested language of the Tennessee Constitution governing the election of appellate judges, they find that it is of utmost importance to protect the integrity of this court and to avoid allegations cha challenging the independence, partiality, or fairness in its decision-making process and opinions. The three judges have ties to the group Tennesseans for Fair and Impartial Courts, an organization that has lobbied against moves to elect appellate judges. Former gubernatorial candidate John J. Hooker is suing Governor Haslam and other state officials for appointing a judge to the Criminal Court of Appeals. Judges are now assigned to the bench through the Tennessee Plan, a method which requires high-ranking judges be appointed appointed by the governor, then elected by the people to renew their eight-year terms through uncontested yes or no retention elections. Governor Haslam says that he is disappointed that three of the appointees felt it necessary to recuse themselves based on a perceived conflict of interest, but he understands their decision and appreciates their initial willingness to serve. Their actions are out of an abundance of caution and only substantiate their good faith and character because it, pro it is probably unnecessary. Educators in the Motlow College Department of Social Science will discuss elections and the Constitution during a Constitution Day forum on September 17th, according to Dr. Scott Cook, an associate professor of history and coordinator of Motlow's Honors Program. Motlow College students and area citizens are invited to the free forum, which will be held from 10.50 a.m. to 12.05 p.m. in Oaf Hall on Motlow's Moore County campus. Cook said, quote, Constitution Day is a national holiday created in 2004 to observe the, submit, uh, the submission of the Constitution at the Constitutional Convention on September 17, 1787. This September 17 is the 225th anniversary of the document." End quote. Featured speakers are Cook, whose topic is the historical impedance and modern sensibilities of the Electoral College, Dr. Donald Cheatham, a professor of history and science, who will speak about presidential elections, Dr. David Bowlby, an assistant professor of history and political science, who will discuss the hist historical role of religion in the electoral process, and Dr. Lucy Craig, whose topic is how to under undermine democracy, the Electoral College. Uh, or the, rather that how to undermine the process through the Electoral College. Craig is an associate professor of criminal justice. Cook said that each participant at the Motlow Forum will receive a pocket copy of the Constitution. We'll be right back in a moment with more News Leader on 6. Hello, Trent McNabb here welcoming you to the brand new showroom at Stan McNabb Chevrolet Buick GMC Cadillac in Tullahoma. And here's something they don't have across town. Come check out our brand new state-of-the-art service drive. Hello, Trey McNabb here, General Manager of Stan McNabb Chrysler Dodge Jeep. You see my little brother on TV. I taught him everything he knows, except how to give you more money for your car. Come see me. Mark, Mark, you've won just about everything there is to win in racing. What's next? I'd like more people to know about ER Extra. The emergency room at Harton Regional Medical Center? I just want them to get the best care they can get. That just gets me right here, Mark. <laughs> Maybe you'd like to pay them a visit. <laughs> ER Extra at Harton Regional Medical Center. ER Extra. Extra fast, extra easy, extra great. Everybody's in a business. A realtor helps build your family with a home to grow in. A doctor keeps you healthy and can fix a broken heart. An accountant keeps you on track for your future dreams. As a master IJO jeweler, Woodard's Diamond Showroom is a little of all of these because we're in the love business. We're there for your family's special times with regular happiness checkups and symbols of love. That's our business at Woodard's Diamond Showroom inside Northgate Mall of Tullahoma.
waiting around for things other people get right away just doesn't make much sense. Get high-speed charter internet and enjoy downloads way faster than DSL. Welcome back. Committee members of this year's Project Graduation Committee are getting an early start on their fundraising for the event. John Gray stopped by and spoke with one of the chairpersons about the event. Hello ladies and gentlemen, John Gray here and I'm with Tracy Gagney who is the co-chairman of Project Graduation at Tullahoma High School in 2013. And Tracy, you have a big event happening this weekend on Saturday. Yes, we do. And what would that be? We'll have our Project Graduation 2013 Fall Market Festival. And that's being held uh, in front of the Dillard's building. Yes, outside in the Dillard's parking lot in front of the Northgate Mall. In front of Northgate Mall here in Tullahoma. And what are some of the things that are going to be happening there? Well, we're going to have lots of local businesses and vendors and crafters and, and food, and it's just going to be a great celebration of our upcoming graduating class. Okay. Now, these girls, and, and, and your co-chairman is? Miss Lisa Brown. Lisa Brown. And Tracy and Lisa are sharp enough that the school year's just gotten started, and they're planning ahead, and they're starting their first event to, uh, to support Project Graduation, of course, which is in at graduation time yes. next next the spring, end of, mm -hmm. end of May. So how many events will you probably have during the year this year? About 20, about 20 events. So there'll be different things from the kids going out selling stuff to yes. other things like this fall craft yes. fair. Yes, absolutely. We'll have poinsettia sales, we'll have um, some dances for the children. There'll be a lot of different things. Different Parents things. selling, children selling, and yeah. Okay, Tracy, for some of the folks out here who really uh, might not know, what exactly is Project Graduation? Well, Project Graduation is a night of fun-filled events for the children. This has uh, been going on in Tullahoma now for about 18 years. And it's, it's a fun, safe-filled safe night for the children so that they're not out on the roads. And usually on graduation night, the kids want to go out and be with their friends and be excited. And we're giving them a safe event to do that in. And this is an alcohol-free, drug-free drug -free, environment, yes, absolutely. but yet there's also a lot of great things and great fun where they can spend that last night together, mm -hmm. as a, a, together as a class, yes. and uh, celebrate the fact that they made it through 12 years yes. of school <laughs> together, and because you know, a lot of them may never see each other for a long time. It's true. It's that. true. It's so. Uh, so if you see this lovely face out in the community and she comes up to you and asks for help for Project Graduation, you tell her, yes, ma'am, we will. Tracy, thank you. thank you so much for your support you. of our children and what you're trying to do to make graduation a safe night. More than 200 young Tullahoma artists and 45 supervising mentors are expected to gather on the front lawn of the South Jackson Civic Center this Saturday for a paint party which will eventually define the city's landscape. Dream Tullahoma's Mike Stanton tells us more. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am on the grounds of South Jackson Civic Center with Mike Stanton and he's holding an airplane in his hands. There's a paint party this weekend and Mike, what's going to take place? John, first of all, we appreciate Charter uh, helping us with this. Um, this Saturday at 8 a.m. to 2 o'clock in the afternoon, there'll be about 150 to 200 kids out here with about 50 adults painting a plane that looks like this. This is a 5 foot by 3 foot F-16, uh, the kind of plane that was tested out at Arnold Center. And I, the, what we're doing, uh, we being Dream Tullahoma, we are branding our city as an aerospace center of excellence. We're doing it with banners, which are already up. We're doing it with five-foot statued planes, which are on the ground. We've got more coming. And then we've got 49 of these F-16s that we're going to prop up on light poles or in restaurants, and basically to show the world that we are proud of our aerospace history and heritage. Now, how, how, are, how is this being funded? Uh, these 49 planes were purchased by Tullahoma individuals and businesses. Well, that's great. And uh, Light Tube, uh, actually Tub Tullahoma Utility Board leads the league. They purchased 30 of them. But others, uh, I don't have the list in front of me, but Harton bought three and Walmart two and a lot of individuals bought them and we're just very proud of their support. And uh, we're particularly thankful to the Fine Arts Center. Annie Roan, who's Fine Arts Director, she is coordinating the painting of these planes. And she's got 45 pilots, which are basically an adult, one adult assigned to each one of the planes. And then she's got two, three, maybe four kids 
to paint each plane. Okay, so if someone wanted to purchase one of these planes, what do they cost? These are $250. Okay, and where could they find one? How could they find you? Basically, they just need to call me at 455-8407, and uh, we're, they're $250 if we order in a group number. If we order them individually, they're $350. But uh, if they call me at that number, uh, we'll gather a group together because we'll want to keep it at $250, and and order some more and, and put them up around town. All right, that's Mike Stanton. We appreciate you, Mike, for all you do in this community. Dream Telehoma, dream big Telehoma. Thank you, John. Appreciate it very much. Stay tuned, more News Leader on 6 is coming up straight ahead. Our office used to look like this. But now, with my paper-free office from RJ Young, it's easy. We've made all of our files electronic and stored them in our virtual filing cabinet, which gave us tons of space. And Bob here? A big promotion. Melissa can pull files in minutes and spends hours on Facebook. And Kyle's confidential uh, files stay confidential. Uh, we're not totally paper free, right? Thank you. My paper free office from RJ Young. It's that easy. It is said that the eyes are the windows to the soul, and the Eye Care Center wants to make your eyes the best windows possible. The professionals at the Eye Care Center have been offering comprehensive eye care for over 30 years. From eye examinations to eye surgery, from children to seniors, we have the services you need. We pride ourselves on taking the time to fully understand our patients' wants and needs. Each patient is a unique situation and deserves our full attention and the latest treatment options. So call or stop by one of our four convenient locations and start seeing better today. All right, the cat's out of the bag at Carroll Street Liquor in Tullahoma. Now you know where to go if you're planning a get-together and want the ideal wine or spirit. Party planning can be stressful, but at Carroll Street Liquor, you'll find everything you need. Mixers, gift sets, and all of your favorite spirit brands. So if you're feeling the pressure to pull off the ideal party, come to Carroll Street Liquor and select among the seemingly endless supply of wines, spirits, gift sets, and more. Your perfect party, it's in the bag with Carroll Street Liquors. Serving you as a local firefighter. Proudly served our country in the United States Air Force. Serving Tullahoma. Helping our kids. Hi, I'm Terry Stroop. Your comfort is our service. We'd like to thank Tullahoma for the privilege of serving your heating and cooling needs. Welcome back. Merrill Meadows from the Tullahoma Recreation Department stopped by our studio this week to fill us in on some exciting activities planned for the next few weeks. All right, we got another concert coming up. It's going to be September the 15th at Fraser McEwen Park. Music starts at 7 o'clock and goes to 10.30 and on hand this will be a beach concert. We've got Lunar Beach House, which is a Jimmy Buffett tribute band out of Louisville, Kentucky. This is a free concert. We encourage you to bring your coolers, your lawn chairs, your beach blanket, everything you want for a nice beach party in the middle of summer, or in the middle of September to end out the summer schedule. Uh, we have two more concerts coming up in October. We'll talk more about those at a later date, but Fraser McEwen Park on September the 15th from 7 to 10.30. We have Lunar Beach House, Jimmy Buffett Tribute Band, be there. We'll have a beach party going on that you will remember for the rest of the year. Encourage everybody to come on out. If you have any questions, call me at 461-1080. Coming up, we have our free diabetes class, Diabetes Management. This class starts on September the 13th and goes through October the 18th on Thursdays from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. at CD Stamps. I do need you to call me to register for this so I can get you all your free material for this class. Call me at 461-1080. We're going to discuss nutrition. We're going to discuss meal planning, carb counting, how to do metering, all sorts of different things to teach you to be a better self-manager of your diabetes. Even if you've already taken a diabetes management course prior to this, I encourage you to take this one. The more information you have on managing your diabetes, the better you are. Also, we encourage you to bring spouses, significant others. Just let me know who's going to be coming to the class, and so please call me again at 461-1080, and I'd be happy to sign you up. This requires a six-week commitment every Thursday, and I ask that you meet at least four of those six meetings in order to learn as much as you can, because each week's going to build on the previous week. So again, 461-1080, call me and I'll sign you up. This class is going to be taught by myself, 
and also Teresa Myers, who's with Partners for Healing. She's the director of Partners for Healing. She's an RN, and she brings all sorts of wonderful stories to the to the project here. And also University of Tennessee. They're the ones who sponsor us. Teresa and I spent several weeks getting educated on how to teach this particular class. This is brought to us by Sanford University. That's where our educa education material came from. So this is a very credible program. There's a lot of stats behind it to support it. So uh, this is a free event. Teresa and I are both into wellness management. So just please call me at 461-1080 and we can get you on this to get you into this class. This is something that you will definitely learn a lot. The pet of the week this week at the Tullahoma Animal Shelter is a beagle mix named Princess available for adoption. Princess is approximately three years old and is good with other pets and children. Princess weighs 15 pounds and is up to date on all of her vaccinations. She will re free, receive a free spay from the Middle Tennessee Spay and Neuter Clinic in Shelbyville, provided by the Universalist Church of Tullahoma. Microchip identification is available to all dogs adopted for a $10 or greater donation to the shelter. For more details, contact Officer Mitchell at 454-9580. State law also requires a $25 deposit refundable upon proof that the adopted pet has been spayed or neutered. The Tallahoma Animal Shelter is located at 942 Maplewood Avenue. And the Coffee County Humane Society's featured pet this week is Linus. He's a black and tan bloodhound looking for a home with a place to run. The shelter also has many other dogs adoption for uh, available rather for adoption at, adoption at 1210 Oakdale Street in Manchester. The hours of operation at the shelter are 7.30 a.m. until 2.30 p.m. Monday through Friday. The shelter's phone number is 723-2711 or 723-2730. Donations for animal care can be made to the Coffee County Humane Society at Post Office Box 252, Manchester, Tennessee 37349. And their website is www.coffeehumane.com humane.org. Stay with us. More News Leader on Six is coming up after these messages. The highest standard of integrity delivers stability and honor. It's established over time. You know when you see it. You know when you feel it. There's a standard of integrity in health care. It's the Joint Commission Gold Seal of Approval. In 2003, Life Care Center of Tullahoma voluntarily achieved this accreditation and maintains it still today. Life Care, meeting a higher standard because residents matter most. Friendship, friends. You put me on pause? You don't put me on pause, man! Yeah, like on your eyeball, it's like. I spy with my eye. Stop it. Don't ever touch this, man. I'm calling my agent. Bring me back a cookie. Make your favorite TV shows wait for you with Charter DVR. We're losing it, doctor. Not on my shift quickly, brush. Roller. What a transformation. It's gonna be okay. Okay, nothing. At Paintworks of Tullahoma, we specialize in domestic emergencies with Martin Senior Paints. You can be the paint doctor, too, when you treat your home with Martin Senior interior and exterior finishes. Doctor, we've got another one. Got you covered. Paintworks of Tullahoma. Come see the paint doctor stat. Citizens Tri-County Bank has offices in Tullahoma. And for your banking convenience, offices all across this region. At Citizens Tri-County Bank, we listen when you tell us what you want in banking. So at our beautiful new Tullahoma downtown office at 201 North Jackson Street, enjoy the kids' playroom, home-like fireplace sitting area, drive up 24-7 ATM, ample parking, and lighted and camera monitor drive throughs Citizens Tri-County Bank, the only community bank you'll ever need. Welcome back. The Tullahoma Wildcats and the Coffee County Red Raiders square off Friday night at Wilkins Stadium for the 86th annual Coffee Pod game. Tullahoma comes into the game with a record of 1-1, one and one, while Coffee County at 0-2 is looking for their first win of the season. The series started back in 1924 when Tullahoma came out on top in that game by a score of 6-0. Tullahoma has won 59 Coffee Pod games over the years, while Coffee County has been the winner of 29. Two games 
have ended in ties. Coffee County's last win in the series came in 2007 when they beat the Cats by a score of 42 to 21. Tullahoma has won eight of the last 10 meetings. Tullahoma head coach John Olive commented on the game Saturday during his weekly football show here on Charter Channel 6. We'll be back in a moment with your weather forecast. Are you looking for a new car dealer that offers no games, no gimmicks, no hassles? Then look no further than Russell Barnett Kia. Keith Barnett here today with my nephew Clay to tell you about the all new 2012 Kia Optima. Yours today for $21,995 after rebates and incentives. With America's best warranty, the 10 year 100,000 mile powertrain warranty, Kia is the power to surprise. No games, no gimmicks, no hassles. My question is, tell them Clay. Why buy anywhere else? Welcome to Camino Real, home of the area's most authentic Mexican food. Expect quality service in a friendly environment that features the only truly authentic Mexican food in the area. With favorites like tacos, fajitas, enchiladas, burritos, tostadas, freshly made guacamole and Mexican rice. All made from scratch using homemade Mexican recipes and only the freshest ingredients. Come and enjoy a meal at Camino Real with the great food, friendly service and warm atmosphere of old Mexico. Since 1889, Traders Bank has been helping our neighbors realize their dreams. Whether our customers are looking to put a roof over their heads, try their hand at entrepreneurship, or see themselves behind the wheel of a shiny new car, the folks at Traders Bank have always been ready to dive in with them. Because at Traders, we lend you more than just money. We lend you our good name. Traders Bank, you're welcome. Welcome back. We'll take a look at your weather forecast at this time, starting with your weather history on this day. Our record high was in 1954 at 101 degrees. The record low was in 1950 at 49 degrees. The average high on this day is 84 and the average low is 62. For tonight, look for clear weather with a low of around 68. Sunny weather in the forecast for Friday with a high of 90 and a low of 70 and some scattered thunderstorms moving in on Saturday with a high of 72 and a low of 55. Chip, it's a big uh, big weekend coming up Friday night if you're a football fan in Coffee County. Absolutely. I'm sure Wilkins Stadium will be packed. Uh, yet another rivalry and a reflaming of the Coffee Pot uh, annual uh, classic, as we like to call it in Coffee County. So uh, look forward to, to a lot of fun. Nothing like high school football, right? Absolutely. And by the way, the firemen from both Tullahoma and Manchester will be out there on hand with their uh, all kinds of games and stuff for the kids and the fire pup and all that. And uh, they'll be also out talking to the crowd. So that's going to cool. be a fun, fun time. You're going to jump in the trampoline things. Yeah, I am. Good. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That'll be worth seeing. All right, that's our newsletter report for this evening. We invite you to join us each Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 6, 8, and 10 for News Leader on 6.